Hello everyone, my name is Fernando Aguilar and today I will be discussing climate change. You have either heard of or are aware of it at this point. Climate change is the change in weather patterns and temperature. Now it is considered a political issue that is being brought up more and more as time passes. No matter whether you agree or disagree, for me it, it, it's interesting. I already did a project on a way to decrease carbon emissions through electric cars, so it feels like a continuation to that. I wanted to specifically focus on greenhouse gas effect, which causes more heating, hence global warming. I wanted to find out if there was any math behind this theory, and to my surprise, there- Before we can talk about the greenhouse gas theory, I would like to mention black bodies, which for example, the sun is a black body, as it emits light, while the Earth is not a black body as it only absorbs and releases said light. So, there's different powers for each type of black body, one for the perfect and one for the imperfect. The perfect black body is sigma at to the fourth power, while an imperfect black body is e sigma at to the fourth power where sigma is the Stefan-Boltzmann constant, which is equivalent to 5.67 times 10 to the negative eighth power. A is the surface area of the black body. T is the temperature in Kelvin, not Melvin. And E is the emissivity, which ranges from one through zero. Since the sun is a perfect black body, it's one. And the rest is the rest of all the way to Now zero. that we have reviewed the two different types of power, I would like to find out how much power the sun radiates. To do this, we would need to find the surface area of a sphere, since the sun is a sphere, which is 4 pi r squared, and we would need the sun's radius, which is 6.96 times 10 to the 8th power. So we would just write 4 pi times 6.96 times 10 to the 8th power to the second power, which gives you 6.96. 0 0.09 times 10 to the 26th power meters squared. Now that we have found the surface area of the sun, we move on to the power, which is E sigma at to the fourth power, where E is 1 since the sun is a perfect black body. Sigma is 5.67 times 10 to the negative eighth power. A is 6.09 times 10 to the 18th power, and t is 5,778 to the 4th power, which gives you 3.85 times 10 to the 26th power in watts. Now that we found the power of the sun, I would like to find out how much energy is hitting the earth. To do this, we would find the intensity, which is power over area. The power being 3.85, times 10 to the 26th power over 4 pi r squared. In this case, the radius would be the distance between Earth and Sun, which is 1.5 times 10 to the 11th power. So it would be 4 pi, 1.5 times 10 to the 11th power to the second power, which gives you 1,361.7 watts meter squared. Now I would like to mention the energy being absorbed. So the equation is Q equals ACS change of temperature or CS equals Q over A change of temperature. Where CS is the surface heat capacity, Q is the heat, A is the surface area of earth and change of T is change of temperature. Since I can't fit the rest of the math into this video, I would like to go straight to the conclusion. When the intensity going in is greater than the intensity going out, the earth will become warmer, which explains the summer season. When the intensity going out is greater than the intensity going in, then it will lead to a cool earth, which explains winter. Gaining and losing heat is what makes climate change. Thank you for watching.